Uh, hey, Mitch, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, you know, looking at your season and, and really your three year run here, um, you haven't missed many games. I think it's like two games. What's what's it been like to kind of settle into the season, you know, and have that kind of consistency where you're you're available every game? Yeah, I think it's a it's a point of pride, right? Um, availability in this league is paramount to um, the team's success, and uh, as well as just as an offensive lineman, continuity goes a very long way. I've been very fortunate to be put in a position here where um, I, you know they they help me they help me find a routine to help my body. Uh, as well as just you learn as you go as a professional how to take on us of being available. Um, so, yeah, it's just it's part of the gig. It's, it's you know, some it's part of it is you can't totally nail put, you know, put the nail on the head on why certain guys have, you know, injury issues or whatnot or availability. Um, you live and you learn in some cases, and in some cases you just kind of get dealt a, uh, a bad hand. So I've been very fortunate these past three years, uh, knock on wood, trying to just be available for my team. And Sean mentions the support staff, the training staff, and the work that they do. Is there anything specifically that you noticed here that they do well and has kind of led to the, some, of that, some of that success you guys have had staying healthy? Well, I think – from top to bottom, people trust other people's jobs, right? So the sports science department job is to give recommendations on practice length, on what to do, when to push us, when to hold back. Um, you know, they also do player screening. So each individual player has certain target areas they need to work on, whether it be pliability or strengthening of certain things. Um, so I think there's just an open dialogue and uh, and just trusting throughout the building on people's jobs and uh, li you know listening to what they have to say. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Hey, Mitch. It's Kim Jones from NFL Network. How are you? I'm good, Kim. How are you? I'm terrific. Thanks so much. I have two quick ones for you, if I may. Uh, the first is, what kind of a challenge is Chris Jones? Uh, he's an immense challenge. I think a player who's just gotten better and better over the years, um, not only physically uh, is, is he gifted, he understands the game, understands his opponent, and uh, brings a competitive fire and edge to um, to a game that you want on your team. So he brings a very uh, it brings a very formidable challenge to anyone he's facing. And secondly, I can't tell you over these past several years how many people have asked me what Josh Allen is like. I'm guessing most people you know at some point have said to you, hey, what's Josh really like? What's that answer? Just a big kid. A big kid who is fiercely competitive and loyal to his teammates. And what that does is that brings the best out of the guys around him. Uh, you have a guy who's willing to lay his body out there, even though we want him to slide more often than not. That's just not in his DNA. So. Um, immense pride in who he is and uh, a big kid and very um, approachable and that's what makes him so special. Terrific, Mitch. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Sorry about that. Mitch, you got me? I do. Perfect. Um, kind of going off of that, you played with both Patrick and Josh. So what makes both of them so special from what you've seen? Um both fiercely competitive players um, through the ebbs and flows of a season, the game they're, you know, they're unwavering and their uh, professionalism and their, you know, their fiery spirit, uh, both guys who are very approachable as people. Um, so guy and, and both guys who are uh, loved by their locker rooms respectively. And then what is it about Josh Allen that makes the whole team just want to run through a wall for him? Because he'd run through a wall for you, and uh, and he, he, I mean, he'll be the first one to do it, and then we'll follow suit. So, loves his teammates truly, and with 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 something like that, it's easy to go to battle with a guy. That's amazing. Thank you for your time. You're welcome.
Big Mitch, Mookie Hawkins, Waffle Sports and Eddie. How you doing today, big guy? I'm good, Mookie. How are you, buddy? I'm great today. A little cold, but that's typical here in Buffalo these days. But uh, this Chiefs defense goes how Chris Jones basically goes. And in the NF AFC Championship game, Coach talked about the lack of physicality up front. How would this O-line unit be able to win their battles up front Sunday? Well, I think that whole defensive front, you know, that defense, especially the last half of the season, the season has really kind of been sparked by how that front four is playing. Uh, you bring a guy in, Chris, and, uh, and everyone else around that defensive line, um, it'll, be a, it'll be a great challenge to match that physicality because um, we know that when the stakes are so high in this game, they'll bring their best effort. So it'll be our job to match that intensity, and it'll be a great competitive environment. Yes, sir, man. And with that being said, I know you come from, from Kansas City. So, I mean, how, how bad do you really want this game? Um, I mean, I want this game for my team. I want this game for my team so that we can take that next step, uh, you know, because we have a bad taste in our mouth. Um, not so much from this game last year against this team, but just uh, with what we, what we felt like we had, um, you know, this, these moments are fleeting. For every player, and I think you asked the veterans that it's definitely true. So when you have opportunities like this in the divisional round, um, you, you want to take advantage. If I could, man, how's baby DJ doing? He's doing great. Thank you so much. I appreciate you asking. Absolutely, man. Hey, good luck on Sunday. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Mitch. How you doing today? I'm good, Sal. How are you? I am okay. Hey, look, I, you, you sort of spoke it, about it with the the defensive line of the Chiefs, but can you speak to how different this defense is than it was in week five? They didn't have Jones that night. Ingram wasn't on the team yet. I think Ward missed that game. Um, I think Clark was hurt. In that. Just how different is this challenge going to be compared to what it was in week five? Yeah, it'll be a tremendous challenge. Um, you know, I thought they played with an intensity that was admirable last game too, but understanding that they have key pieces back in the lineup, added a few pieces like Ingram, who's a phenomenal player who, um, you know, can really change the game and, uh, and guys who might've been a little bit injured are now healthy. I mean, you can just tell them the speed that they play. Uh, they have a fire about them. So it'll be a tremendous challenge for our offensive line and for our offense to execute and match that intensity, understanding that this game is going to have ebbs and flows. Um, so it'll be fun. Great. Thanks, Mitch. You're welcome. Hey, Mitch. Good to see you. Um, I was curious about Reggie Gilliam. His role has obviously varied game by game based off what the game plan is, but has had a pretty consistent role the last stretch. Just what have you seen him add to this team and how his role has kind of helped you guys? Yeah, uh, Reggie's one of those guys that only knows one speed in practice and in games. Uh, he's a thumper. And, uh, and just a football player, guy who won't say much, um, but you know, is, takes uh, tremendous pride in his job and his role, and uh, and you know, we just love him for it, and uh, he, he executes at a high level when his numbers call. When you when he gets that opportunity in games, how do you see that mentality of practice translate to the game itself? I mean, he's just thumping dudes. And in practice, we're just like, hey, man, this is our team. I don't have to be thumping these guys like that. But uh, he just knows one speed, and he goes for it. Awesome. Thanks. You're welcome. That's all we have time for today. Thanks, Mitch. You're welcome.